All right, welcome back to the channel, viewers. Uh, today I'm discussing vacuum routing, vacuum hose routing from your to and from your vacuum switch that is located on top of your transfer case. Now, okay, before we go any farther, this is for mid to late 90s, some of the early 2000s Blazers, Chevy Blazers, four-wheel drives. Uh, here is your vacuum switch. These do go bad, and what they do is the little check ball right here gets stuck. This is one I changed out not too long ago, and don't make no mistake about it here. Uh, you can unscrew yours, and this ball will be stuck. Throw it away. Put another one in it. Do not. You'll get it freed up. But it's always going to have like a little catch in there. So it will get stuck again. So replace it. I think they're like 20 bucks at your local park stores. Okay. So uh, this is a 22 millimeter socket. I just placed that there to hold the vacuum switch up so I can show you the hose routing, vacuum hose routing diagram. Uh, now, here's a little diagram I drew up real fast. This would be the vehicle's engine. This is where your battery is. And the actuator is mounted under the battery. So you have to remove the battery, the tray, and then there will be like a little round, well, a good size round, diaphragm, rubber, looking thing with uh, a cable going to it now that cable runs from the actuator down to the front axle okay uh, so this is your vacuum switch located on top of your transfer case uh, you'll need a 22 millimeter wrench uh, a socket will not you just don't have enough room for a socket. Not unless you remove a bunch of stuff underneath the vehicle. And you can take it out with a wrench. Alright, so. Notice the orientation. This is. This, this pin right here. See right here? Okay. So. You just don't put these vacuum hoses on all willy-nilly like you want. You know, whatever comes easiest first. No, they, they, so this is your point of reference here. So this port right here of the switch right here is a vent. If you follow this hose far enough up on top of the transmission, you'll see a, like a wire fitting, a plastic wire fitting, because it also picks up the vent off of the transmission which, if you go underneath the hood and look in behind the distributor, you'll, you should see a piece of uh, rubber hose coming up and have a vent cap in the, in the hose, and it should be secured to the firewall. All right, so that shows you where that one goes. The next port to the right of the orientation pin This is engine vacuum. All right, now most of the Blazers picked up vacuum for this switch over around the master cylinder, probably on top of the master cylinder somewhere. Okay. Then the bottom port, the bottom vacuum port is right here, and this actually goes to the actuator diaphragm underneath of the battery tray uh, majority of the times when the four-wheel drive quits working in one of these vehicles these blazers s10s what have you this actuator is busted it's just thin rubber and uh, they they go bad uh, 
but I've yet to find one as good as the original as far as the thickness of the rubber. So just forewarned, when you buy these, buy, buy two of them. Don't buy just one. Throw it in the back, throw the extra one in the back of the blazer because the new ones are just, I don't know. I, I went through two of them in three months because uh, they were just so cheaply made, I guess. So anyway, there you go. The left port right here is a vent. Bottom port to the actuator under the battery tray. The right port goes to engine vacuum. These hoses are 530 seconds. The hose size is 530 seconds. All right, uh, like I said, inspect your uh, actuator under the battery tray and the transfer case uh, vacuum switch. It's located on top of the transfer case. Now, one thing you can do is while you have the new one out, you can take you three different paint color markers because your connector, all three hoses go into a connector before they hook onto the uh, switch. Uh, but there are times that you will have, you could possibly have a vacuum leak at the connector itself. In which case you'll be putting new vacuum hoses on. And I do recommend you replace them from the engine to the switch and the switch to the actuator and even a short piece to the, the Y fitting for the vent. Now, the paint markers, yellow, blue, something bright, yellow, white, blue. Uh, once you screw, you know, put a little paint on the sides. All right, just make a little mark on the sides of the nipples, blue, yellow, and do the same thing on your, new, on your vacuum hoses. So once you screw this switch into the transfer case, everything's labeled. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. And I recommend you do paint them because uh, if you do lose that connector that goes down on the switch here, if you have to replace that or you think you need to, you have a vacuum leak there, go ahead and just pull the whole thing off of the switch, lay it to the side, start running your new vacuum hoses. It's a tight fit running those hoses because the transmission is right tight against the transmission tunnel, the floor pan of the vehicle. So anyway, thought maybe this might help some of you out. Uh, so let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Appreciate you watching, I really do. Uh, so subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching guys.